ラプンジェル옛날옛날작은마을에부부가살았어요그들은자식이없었기때문에별로행복하지않았답니다그부부의집옆에있는아름다운정원에는높은울타리가둘러져있었고그안에는아름다운꽃들과채소가많이심어져있었어요하지만그정원의주인은마녀이기때문에아무도그안에들어가고싶어하지않았습니다어느날부인은정원에아름다운상추가있는것을보고갑자기너무먹고싶어졌어요그래서바로슬픈표정을지었습니다남편이이상한생각에뭐가그렇게슬퍼라고물어보자마녀정원속에상추를먹고싶어요라고말했어요그러자남편이내가가져다줄게요라고대답했습니다사실남편은마음속으로겁이났지만그래도부인을위해높은담을넘어서상추를가져왔어요부인은즐거이그상추로샐러드를만들어서전부먹어버렸어요샐러드가정말맛있어요만약더먹을수없다면죽어버릴것같아요라고부인이말했어요당신이행복하기만하다면내가다시가져다줄게요남편은이렇게말했어요남편은다시정원에갔지만이번에는마녀가벌써기다리고있었어요여기에서뭐하는거야내채소를훔치러온거야정말겁도없구나내가가만두지않겠다마녀는이렇게말했어요부탁이에요제발요제아내가이상추를먹지못하면아마죽을지도몰라요남편은애원을했습니다마녀는화가조금진정되자이렇게또말했어요그럼네가원하는만큼가져가거라하지만조건이있다너의부인이아기를낳으면그아기를반드시내게주어야한다남편은대답하기어려웠지만두려운마음에마녀의요구를들어줄수밖에없었어요몇개월이지난후부인은정말여자아기를낳았습니다마녀는부부의집에와서내가너희들의아기를잘키워주겠다라고말한후아기를데려갔습니다마녀는여자아기에게라푼젤이라고이름을지어주고함께살기시작했어요세월이흘러서라푼젤은벌써늘씬한소녀로자랐고아름다운금발을가지고있었어요마녀는누구도그녀에게접근하는것을원하지않았기때문에그녀를계단이없는높은탑에서살도록했어요라푼젤은어디에도갈수가없이탑에서만지냈고그녀의머리카락은갈수록길어졌어요라푼젤은외로워서매일마다창밖을바라보며슬픈노래를불렀어요어느날왕자가높은탑을지나가다라푼젤의아름다운노래소리를들었어요
노래 소리가 정말 아름답구나. 라고 왕자는 생각하며 어떤 아가씨의 목소리가 이렇게 아름다운지 알고 싶어졌어요. 왕자는 탑을 올라가 보기로 결정했지만 문을 아무리 찾아도 찾을 수가 없었답니다. 정말 이상하네. 어떻게 해야 탑을 올라가서 그녀를 만날 수가 있지? 그 다음 날 왕자는 나무 뒤에 숨어서 기다렸어요. 그리고 마녀가 탑을 향해 나푼젤! 나푼젤! 나의 머리카락을 내려줘! 라고 외치자 길다랗게 따은 머리가 탑에서 내려오고 마녀가 그 머리를 잡고 올라가는 모습을 보았어요. 왕자는 내일 저녁에 그대로 해보겠다고 마음속으로 생각했어요. 다음날 저녁 왕자는 다시 탑 아래로 와서 라푼젤! 라푼젤! 너의 머리카락을 내려줘! 라고 외치자 길다랗게 따은 머리가 소리를 내며 내려왔어요. 왕자는 머리를 타고 위로 올라가 드디어 탑 꼭대기에 방문에 들어갔답니다. 라푼젤은 한 번도 남자를 본 적이 없었기 때문에 깜짝 놀라며 이렇게 물었어요. 당신은 누구세요? 왕자는 자신의 신분을 설명하고 그녀의 아름다운 목소리에 감동받았다고 말했어요. 라푼젤은 더 이상 두렵지 않았어요. 왕자는 그녀에게 청혼을 했답니다. 라푼젤은 왕자는 젊고 멋있어요. 왕자와 함께 사는 것이 마녀와 함께 사는 것보다 더 행복할 거야. 라고 생각했기 때문에 그녀는 왕자의 청혼을 받아들였어요. 하지만 문제가 있어요. 그녀가 어떻게 탑 아래로 내려갈까? 당신이 나를 보러 올 때마다 밧줄을 가져오세요. 제가 그 밧줄로 사다리를 만들게요. 그렇게 하면 내려갈 수 있으니 당신이 저를 데려갈 수 있을 거예요. 라고 라푼젤이 왕자에게 말했어요. 왕자는 그녀의 말에 동의하고 매일 그녀를 보러 올 때마다 밧줄을 가져왔어요. 사다리가 곧 완성될 어느 날 라푼젤은 마녀와 이야기를 나누다가 실수로 할머니, 왜 할머니는 왕자보다 끌어올리기가 더 힘들어요? 라고 잘못 말했어요. 마녀는 라푼젤이 몰래 다른 사람을 만난 것에 대해 화를 크게 내었어요. 마녀는 이 나쁜 아이 같은 이라고! 나는 온갖 방법을 다해 너를 세상과 단절시켰는데 너는 나 몰래 다른 사람과 만났구나! 라고 말하고 라푼젤의 아름다운 머리카락을 잘라버렸어요. 그리고 더 이상 그두 사람이 못 만나도록 그녀를 데리고 그곳을 떠났어요. 그날 저녁 왕자는 또탑 아래에 와서 머리카락을 내려달라고 라푼젤의 이름을 불렀어요. 왕자는 방 안으로 올라간 후 깜짝 놀랐어요. 왜냐하면 마녀가 방에서 왕자를 기다리고 있었기 때문이에요. 더 이상 당신의 연인을 볼수 없을 거야. 그녀는 지금 아주 먼 곳에 있어. 당신은 정말 잔인하군요. 저는 그녀를 사랑합니다. 그녀와 결혼하고 싶습니다. 그녀를 데려와 주세요. 
라고 왕자는 말했어요. 어림도 없는 소리! 절대로 그 아이를 너에게 주지 않겠다. 너는 앞으로 절대 행복할 수 없을 거야. 마녀는 말을 끝낸 후 마법을 이용해 탑을 떠났어요. 왕자는 매우 슬픔에 잠겨서 탑 아래로 뛰어내렸는데 머리가 돌에 부딪혀서 실명이 되었어요. 더 이상 앞을 볼 수가 없게 된 것이지요. 눈이 먼 왕자는 1년 동안 라푼젤을 찾으러 전국을 돌아다녔어요. 드디어 어느 날 왕자는 슬픈 노래소리를 들었어요. 아름답고 귀에 익은 노래소리에 왕자는 라푼젤이라고 확신했습니다. 그래서 그녀의 이름을 부르자 라푼젤이 왕자 앞으로 달려와서 왕자를 꼭 껴안았어요. 그녀는 왕자가 자기 눈앞에 있다는 사실을 믿을 수가 없었답니다. 그녀는 기쁨의 눈물을 흘렸고 그녀의 눈물이 왕자의 눈에 들어가자 왕자의 눈이 다시 보이기 시작했어요. 그들은 함께 왕자의 성으로 돌아와서 그때부터 행복한 나날을 보냈답니다. 이야기는 끝났으니 영어로 다시 읽어보자. Rapunzel Once upon a time, a man and a woman lived in a small town. They were not happy because they had no children. There was a beautiful garden surrounded by a high wall near their house. The garden was filled with pretty flowers and vegetables near their house. But no one dared enter for a witch owned there. One day, the woman saw some nice lettuce in the garden, which caused her to want it to eat. The man saw his wife looking sad. Why are you so sad? He asked. I wanted to eat lettuce from the witch's garden. She said. I will get you some. He replied. The man was so scared that he still climbed over the high wall to get some lettuce for his wife. His wife was very happy and made it into a salad which she ate very quickly. It tasted so good, said his wife. But I will die if I can't eat that again. The man then replied, If you can be happy, I will do it again. He went back to the garden. But the witch was there this time. What are you doing here? Asked the witch. Are you coming to steal my vegetables? How dare you? I will punish you. Please don't. Replied the man. If my wife doesn't eat the lettuce, she might die. The man begged. The witch's anger was appeased, and she said, You can take as much as you like, but on one condition. You have to give me your child. Your wife will soon have a baby girl. He was very scared, but he could only agree to give his child. Few months later, the woman gave birth to a baby girl. The witch came to this couple's house and took their baby away. I will take care of your child, said the witch. The witch had the girl live with her and called her Rapunzel. As time passed by, Rapunzel became a pretty young lady 
with golden hair. The witch didn't like anyone to get close to her, so she kept her in a high tower without stairs. Rapunzel could only stay in the tower, so her hair grew very long. Feeling lonely, she looked out the window while singing sad songs every day. One day, a prince heard a beautiful voice when he passed the tower. Whose lovely voice is this? He wondered. The prince wanted to know who sang so beautifully. He wanted to climb up to meet this girl, but he found no door. This is weird. How can I go to the top of the tower and meet her? Next day, he hid behind a tree and waited. Then he found the witch called out, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair." Then, a long braid of golden hair was lowered down the tower. The witch climbed up by taking hold of the hair. The prince thought he could do as the witch tomorrow night. Next evening, he went there again and called out, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair!" Her hair was let down, and the prince climbed up the hair, and he finally entered her room. Rapunzel was scared, having never seen a man before. Then she asked, "Who are you?" The prince told her. That he was a prince who was touched by her singing. Rapunzel's fear quickly went away. The prince asked her to marry him. She then thought, "He is young and handsome, and I will be happier with him than with the old witch." She agreed to marry him, but could not think of a way to get down the tower. Every time you come to see me, you must remember to bring a thread, and I will make a ladder to climb down. Then you can take me away. She told the prince. The prince agreed with her, and bring her a thread each night. One day, when the ladder was almost complete, Rapunzel made a mistake. As she was talking to the witch. She asked, "Grandma, why are you harder to pull up than the prince?" The witch was angry that Rapunzel kept seeing someone secretly. The witch yelled at her, "Naughty girl! I have hidden you from the world, but you still deceived me by seeing someone." The witch cut Rapunzel's long, beautiful hair, and took her away from the tower. She didn't want them to see each other again. At night, the prince came to the tower and called Rapunzel to lower down her hair. He was shocked to find the witch waiting for him in the room. Your love is far from here, and you will never see her again," said the witch. "How can you be so cruel? I love her, and I want to marry her." Please bring her back," he cries. "Never! I won't give her to you. You will never be happy!" <laughs> cries the witch. The prince felt sad, so he jumped from the high tower. His head hit the rock. He couldn't see anything any more. The blind prince searched for Rapunzel. Throughout the land for a whole year. One day, he heard someone singing a sad song. He thought that must be Rapunzel in her beautiful voice. He called her name. Rapunzel ran to him and hugged him. She couldn't believe the prince was in front of her. She was so happy that she started crying. Her tears fell on his eyes. Suddenly, he could see again. 
they went back to the prince's castle together and lived happily ever after.